welcome back to another video on explained in minutes today we are going to automate facebook posts using our python code to automate facebook we are going to use graph api watch the entire video to know the step by step tutorial and it is going to be really simple and very interesting with that note welcome to asa learning now before automating facebook we have some prerequisites here we need to get the access token for our facebook page and the facebook user account and here comes the question why do you need an access token? The access token is needed for our app to make use of the API requests on behalf of the user. And before moving on to the coding part, we have to create the access token developer.facebook.com. After you log in, go to my apps. Now you need to create a new app. Click on create app and choose your corresponding options. And once your app is created, go to tools and click on graph API explorer. The graph API enables you to read and write to Facebook social graph. In order to put in simple words, API enables you to access the internal features of a program in a limited fashion. You need to create an access token. The access token is needed for the app to make an API call to read, modify or write a FB data on your behalf. So now I'll go ahead and select my app that was created, which is ASA learning test. As you can see, I have not given any user access. I'm going to create an access token for our ASA Learning FB page. Here you can select the get page access token. It will ask for your credentials, log into your account and select your page. Now your app is linked with your FB page. Here you need to give certain permissions in order to post or get the data from your FB page. To add a permission, Click on this drop down and you will have event groups pages options and here you will be able to choose the permissions that are required. I will choose pages manage engagement which is required to post and comment, pages manage post, read user content, publish to groups, pages messaging and metadata. And now I have added new permissions. I need to generate access token now. After giving the required permissions, go and click on generate access token. And it will again ask you for authentication. Now you can go and select your page access token. Now these permissions are granted. Now you can submit it. And now it is submitted successfully. All you need to do is click on this copy button. We have copied our access token after granting the required permissions. And do note one more thing, we need Facebook SDK as well. So install Facebook SDK in your environment. After installing Facebook SDK, we will import it as we have the access token copied. I'll run cell by cell to get a better understanding. I'll name it as access token itself. Paste the string here. It is going to be really simple from now. You're going to create an object. I'll name it as ASAFB equals FB dot. You will have graph API method in your Facebook SDK. So all you need is graph API and you need to pass in the access token. And by running this cell, you are creating a graph API object to read and write to Facebook social graph. So I'll run this cell. So we have ASA FB, which is our graph API object. So this is our Facebook page, ASA learning. So we have weekly posts here. Now we are going to post here using our Python code. Now let's post a simple message. So here you have put object method. It takes three parameters. So first we have to give the parent object, which is the ASA learning page itself, I'm giving it as me. So we are going to post it in feed. I'll give it as feed. And then we are going to give our message. So the third parameter will be our message. This is our string. So now I'll run this cell. We got an ID. So this ID is basically the page ID underscore the post ID or you can call it as object ID. Now let's go back to our Facebook page and we can see our post there. I'll refresh the page. We got our post in our Facebook page and hence by using graph API, we are able to post in just a single line of code. And now let's go back and get the contents of a post. We have two HTTP server methods, which are get and post. We have already done post. Now we are going to get the contents of this post, which we have just posted now. To give you an easy example, if you want to download something, it means you are going to perform a get request. If you want to upload something, it means you are going to perform post request. Now let's get the contents of this post. You're going to use the same object as above. You have get object. Now all you need to do is pass in this particular page ID underscore object ID. 
This returns the contents of the post. Let's run this cell. You will get a JSON response. So here it says the created time, the message and the ID. This is going to be interesting. Now let's post a photo with captions on our FB page. In this particular working directory itself, we have an image file. I'm going to post that image file with a caption. Let's go back to the same object ASAFB. You will have put photo. This method takes image, album path and other arguments. In Facebook, you can create albums. So if you want this image to post in a particular album, you can specify the path here. But now we are not going to post it in any album. To open an image file, we are going to give open and the file name. We are going to open it in read binary mode. So this being our first argument, we have to give a caption. I have given automated meme post as caption. If you want to know more about file and directory operations, we already have explained in minutes videos. You will get the pop-up above. Check it out. Now let's run this cell. Now let's go back to the FP page and see if it has posted it. So I'll refresh the page. There you go. We got our meme being posted with the caption. So it has posted just now. Give exit view as. Now you can actually see it has been published by the ASA learning test app. So this is only shown to the owner of this page. We got our captions as well as the image. So this is the image that I had in our working directory. Let's comment on that photo. So again, ASAFB, we have put object itself. To post a comment, we are going to use the same three parameters that we have here. And the important changes we need to specify the post ID on which post you are going to comment. So I'm going to comment on this photo that we have just posted. So instead of feed, you need to mention it as comments. I'll change the string as well. Let's run this cell. So this is nothing but the object ID underscore the comment ID. Now let's go back to the Facebook page. Let's refresh it. And now you can see the comment here. Yeah, we got the comment as well. We have posted an image with the caption and then we have automated the comment as well. And now let's see some sample API requests to get the data from Facebook. If you want to access these examples, the link to the GitHub code is given in the description below. To request a response, in Python, we have three libraries. The first one is HTTP lib. The second one is URL lib. The third one is requests. So we will use requests now and we will definitely have a separate video on API with Python. For now, we will use this API ends. So before that, we need to import requests. So I'm going to use requests library here. Now you need to specify the URL. So this will be your API end. I'll name the string as URL itself. So now let's get the fan count of the page. So here, you need the access token to authenticate and you need the page ID. That's it. You already know what is page ID. I will copy it from the output. So this will be our page ID and we need to specify the access token here. We have given our full URL. Now it is really simple. You are going to perform a get request. So request dot get of the URL, which is this one. And you have to convert this to JSON. So I'll call dot JSON. I'll store it as output. Now let's print this one and see what it returns. You can see the followers count and the page ID. And hence, if you want to return the comments, the number of likes and summary for a specific post, you can use this API end URL. And if you want to get for all the posts, you can use the below one. All you have to do here is replace the page underscore object ID for a specific post. Or if you want for all the post, just replace the page ID here. And also do mention the access token so that the app can make the API calls. Hence, we have automated a post with message. We have posted a photo with caption and also automated the comment on the post all with the help of Graph API. And not only that, we have also retrieved data from our Facebook page by help of API get requests. If you find this video useful and interesting, leave a like, comment your queries below. I'll try to answer all your queries. We have automated WhatsApp messages using Python code and other interesting explained in minutes series videos. Check out the link in the description below. And do subscribe the ASA Learning YouTube channel and ding dong the bell. See you all in another interesting video. Take a pound.